In the crushing depths of our oceans, where no sunlight penetrates and pressures would flatten a submarine, scientists discovered something that would revolutionize our understanding of life itself, organisms thriving in the scalding waters of hydrothermal vents. These extraordinary microorganisms, called extremophiles, survive in environments once thought completely inhospitable to life, from near-boiling hot springs to highly acidic lakes that would dissolve human flesh. Perhaps most astonishing are the psychrophiles found in Antarctica's dry valleys, where temperatures plummet to minus 60 degrees Celsius, yet specialized microbes have evolved antifreeze proteins that prevent ice formation in their cells. In environments deadly to humans, like the hypersaline waters of the Dead Sea or Utah's Great Salt Lake, halophiles not only survive, but thrive in salt concentrations that would desiccate ordinary cells. The discovery of these remarkable organisms fundamentally changed our search for extraterrestrial life, shifting our focus from Earth-like environments to a much broader range of possible habitats throughout our solar system and beyond. Suddenly, the subsurface oceans of Europa, a moon of Jupiter, became prime targets in our search, as its suspected underwater hydrothermal vents might mirror the very environments where we found extremophiles on Earth. By studying how these organisms repair radiation damage to their DNA, scientists gained insights into potential survival mechanisms for life on radiation-bathed worlds like Mars or Saturn's moon Enceladus. Extremophiles have even rewritten our understanding of life's origins on Earth, suggesting that life may have begun in extreme environments like deep sea vents or geothermal pools, rather than the warm little pond Darwin once proposed. This paradigm shift has revolutionized astrobiology, with NASA and other space agencies now designing missions and instruments specifically to detect life forms that might look nothing like those in our textbooks, but more like the extraordinary extremophiles that continue to astonish us here on Earth. Perhaps most profound is how extremophiles have expanded our imagination about what life itself could be, opening possibilities for organisms based on alternative biochemistries, such as silicon rather than carbon, or ammonia instead of water, truly alien life that might exist in the frigid methane lakes of Saturn's moon Titan.